miles outside of Seattle, Washington, sits the town of Monroe at the foothills of the beautiful Cascade Mountains. The Evergreen Fairgrounds is the home of the largest county fair in the Pacific Northwest, and on those fairgrounds sits Evergreen Speedway, where tonight we're getting set for the Napa Auto Parts ARCA 150. It's a great day for racing here in the Pacific Northwest. Who's going to end up in victory lane? We'll find out next, right here on NBC Sports. Welcome to the Napa Auto Parts Arco West 150 here at Evergreen Speedway. My name is Charlie Crawl. I'll have all the action for you here this evening. Joining me trackside will be Jesse Punch. Let's take a look at the weather. It's been a beautiful day. Upper 70s all day long. Not a cloud in the sky throughout the course of the afternoon. We might see a few puffy clouds join as the evening goes on. We're going to drop into the low 70s. Just a beautiful night for racing here in the Pacific Northwest. Landon Lewis has been giving up some points in the standings the last few races to Sean Hingarani, who has been closing that points gap each and every race. Hingarani has been the dominant force this season. He's already got three wins under his belt. Could we see a fourth win tonight, or could we see a rookie go to victory lane here this evening? For more, let's send it on down to Jesse Punch, who's standing by with a guy who's already picked up a win this season, Tyler Reif, our Bounty Rookie Spotlight driver. Tonight's Bounty Rookie Spotlight is on Tyler Reif. The 16-year-old Las Vegas native started the season with a huge win at Phoenix, but now is going to end the year with a new team, Central Coast Racing. Tyler, you told me this decision to switch teams was one that you made yourself. Take me through that thought process and that decision making. I mean, we started off the year strong, and then from there, kind of just went downhill and downhill, and we tried, we tried, but nothing was working, and kind of made the switch. Central Coast Racing wanted me. I thought they were a good team. We made it happen. And last weekend, top three in practice, qualifying, and this week when we put on the pole. So a pretty happy decision. Well, good luck tonight, and good luck the rest of the season. Drive that number 13. Thank you. That's Tyler Reif, your Bounty Rookie Spotlight. Thanks, Jesse. Now let's take a look at the point standings after seven races. Landon Lewis holds on to the lead by just seven points over a very hard charging. Sean Hingarani. Trevor Huddleston is 21 points out with Bradley Erickson and Tyler Reif rounding out the top five. Earlier today, the General Tire Pole Award was won by Tyler Reif, driver of the number 13 Sane Spay and Neuter Education Ford. That's the first time he has picked up the General Tire Pole Award in his young career. His pole winning lap clocked in at 23.061 seconds. Let's head on downstairs and hear from tonight's General Tire Pole Award winner. Starting on the pole here this afternoon at Evergreen, Tyler Reif. Tyler, now that you've had some time here on the track, seeing what this car can do, where's your confidence heading into this competition? I mean, it's pretty high. It's probably 9 out of 10 right now. Um, only did one lap in qualifying and put it on the pole by over a tenth. So first time here, only got 30, 40 laps of practice. We put it on the pole by a pretty vague gap, so I think we'll be all right tonight. Best of luck tonight, Tyler. Thank you. That's Tyler Reif looking for his second win of the season, starting on the pole for the first time this year. Thanks, Jesse. Quick look at tonight's race analysis. We're going to go 150 laps around Evergreen Speedway, which measures just a touch over five eighths of a mile. We're going to have a five minute break at or around lap 75. Teams have a total of four tires in the pit box to use for the entirety of tonight's 150 lap distance. That could be a challenge, notoriously abrasive here at Evergreen Speedway. This is the 61st Arkham Art Series West race here at Evergreen Speedway, dating back to 1964, last year's race. Won by Tanner Reif was the 1,000th race in West Series history. Here's the rest of tonight's General's Tire starting grid. Sean Hingarani will start alongside Tyler Reif on the front row. 2019 Evergreen winner Trevor Huddleston and Cole Raz will go from row two. There's a good look at Sean Hingarani in that number 15 Mobile One Toyota. There's Trevor Huddleston in the 50. He will start alongside Cole Raz back there in row two. Bradley Erickson and points leader Landon Lewis will go from row three. Defending race winner Tanner Reif and Kyle Keller will go from row four. Eric Nascimento and Jacob Smith in the number 41 car round out the top 10 starters with Todd Souza, Ethan Nascimento, Takuma Koga, Eric Johnson Jr., and David Smith rounding out our 15 car starting lineup. So field rolling should be the final of the three preliminary laps here at Evergreen Speedway. Joe 
Contreras in the starter stand, giving the field the one to go signal. We will get the green flag next time around. Tyler Reif making the transition into that number 13 car for Todd Souza. That's the car that Todd has driven most of his career. Tyler Reif holding on to the steering wheel in that number 13 car this week, and he is on the pole. First time in his career. Sean Hingarani alongside. Sean looking to make up some ground in that battle for the Arkham and Art Series West Championship here tonight. Just seven points out of the lead. As we keep an eye on Chuck Welch in the pace car, he's going to make the hard left-hand turn there down the middle of the back stretch. Field now in command of Tyler Reif, Sean Hingarani on the front row. Tyler's got to be the first one to the restart line and the first one to the start finish line as we get ready to go green for 150 laps here at Evergreen Speedway. Slowly through turns three and four. Field bunched up nicely. It's Tyler Reif and Sean Hingarani out of turn four. There's that restart line. Green flag up. It's time to rock, roll, and rumble here at Evergreen Speedway. Field streaming down the back stretch. Look at that jump that Tyler Reif gets over Sean Hingarani. The top two have stretched out a little bit of an advantage over that battle for third and fourth. As we come to complete lap one, Tyler Reif will lead off a turn four to complete lap one. Tyler had a good run going last time out at Shasta Speedway, had some issues late in the race, didn't get the finish he was looking for. He has jumped out. Wants to erase all doubt here tonight as we've got good battles towards the back of the top five. But right now, Pinkerani trying to keep Tyler Reif in his sights. Reif driving off into the distance. There's that battle. Landon Lewis in the 17. Landon already putting some pressure on Trevor Huddleston. These two have spent a lot of time this season race, racing one another. Looks like Landon's going to give Trevor a little knock on the back door right there through turns three and four. Trevor Huddleston not able to keep that 50 car down onto the bottom of the racetrack. He's about a half a lane up. Look at Landon Lewis all the way down. He's got those left side tires almost down in the grass. That 17 car turning very, very well here in the early going. The field streams down the front stretch. Drivers both have wins already here in 2023. Landon Lewis leads the Arkham Art Series West Championship standings. Trevor Huddleston just 21 points out of the lead, so he still has a very legitimate chance at contending for that championship. Still five races remaining, including tonight, for Huddleston to make up some ground. Arkham Art Series West Racing from Evergreen Speedway will be right back. Art Series West Racing on NBC Sports is brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. And by General Tire. Hashtag anywhere is possible. Tyler Reif setting a very rapid pace here in the early going, but so is Sean Hingarani. Hingarani has closed in. Was about five car lengths. Now make it one car length. It was just a matter of inches going into turn one, but Sean Hingarani on the charge here in the early going. He wants to get out there and lead some laps. Well, already catching David Smith in the 05. David way up the racetrack. He's going to let the battle for the lead proceed to the bottom side of the racetrack. So the first laps, Tyler Reif has led since that win at Phoenix earlier in the season. Well, it's been uh, been kind of an up and down season to this point for Tyler Reif. Of course, he had that huge win at Phoenix. Came after a little bit of contact. Actually, contact with the driver he's battling with right now. He and Sean Hingarani got together early in the race at Phoenix. 
spent much of the early part of that race just trying to get back on the lead lap but his car was incredibly fast as we check in on this battle Bradley Erickson Kyle Keller going at it just outside the top five Bradley's had a fantastic start to the season as he sits in championship contention. We'll jump back up to the top of the leaderboard. There's Tyler Reif, Sean Hingarani still about a three car length advantage for Tyler Reif as he continues to show the way here at Evergreen Speedway. But other than that win, it's been a lo little bit of a dry spell for Tyler Reif so far here in 2023. Three of the last four races, he has finished out of the top 10. 15th at Portland, 17th at Sonoma, and 14th last time out at Shasta. So right now, Tyler Reif trying to get the boat turned back around. And get that season back on track. A couple of mixed metaphors right there, boats and trains, but we'll make it work. John Hingarani, meanwhile, he has had a great season here out west. Three wins already underneath his belt. He has picked up wins at Irwindale, Kern County, in Shasta last time out. I think that victory celebration at Shasta Speedway may have been one of the most epic celebrations we've ever seen. Ran up into the crowd, celebrated with the race fans. As here is the battle for fifth right now. Trevor Huddleston holding on to fifth. Just barely. Here comes Tanner Reif in the 16 car. Tanner won this race last year. Tanner was driving for the Sunrise Racing Team. Bob Brancati now retired. He's made the transition over to Bill McAnally Racing here in 2023. And Tanner trying to get that magic back and try to catch up to younger brother. Tyler Reif having it his way up at the front of the field. And Tanner looking pretty sporty in that 16 car. Tanner to the bottom side of the racetrack. Ooh, sliding just a little bit. We talked about how abrasive the racing surface here is at Evergreen Speedway. Don't want to do too much of that sliding. Got to get these tires to lap 75, the halfway break. And again, Huddleston just not able to keep that car down to the bottom side of the racetrack. He opens up that bottom lane. Tanner Reif takes advantage of it. He's going to move up into fifth. Trevor Huddleston back to sixth. There's the leader one more time. Still holding on to about a one-car length lead over Sean Hingarani. And you notice, folks, if you keep an eye on the back bumper of that 15 car, the gap between he and Cole Raz has shrunk. Cole Raz in the five car for Jerry Pitts has closed that gap quite a bit. So we're about to have a three-car tussle for the lead. Charlie, I joked with Cole before the race. I said, hey, you know this place, right? You've raced here before, maybe even won. And he laughed and said, yeah, a few times. I think I have the most experience here of any of the guys in the field tonight. And he's probably right. Cole's got a number of wins here in a super late model. Most recently, just last month, he claimed the title and $25,000 in the prestigious summer showdown. Now, Cole's introduction to the ARCA series came last race at Shasta, but he says he's excited to get out there tonight because here at Evergreen, this is where his confidence lies. Number 17 car into the mix as well. Landon started off with an incredible streak. Second place finishes in the first three races at Portland, Irwindale, and Kern County. Then he won at Portland. And unfortunately, some issues at Sonoma cost him a good finish there. He finished 19th at Sonoma. A ninth place at Irwindale Speedway, not too shabby, but he did come home with a fourth place run. Back into the top five last time out at Shasta Speedway, but that 19th place finish 
really could end up costing him in that battle for the Arkham and Art Series West Championship. Especially when the guy you're battling with is running off a streak of wins. That's exactly what Sean Hingarani has done here so far in 2023. You're watching Arkham and Art Series West Racing on NBC Sports. We're right back to the action here at Evergreen. Still nothing changing up at the front of the field, but Hingarani continuing to look racy as we see this battle for position. Here comes Kyle Keller. Here's Eric Nascimento in the mix as well. So a three-car battle for position. We start to close in on the halfway point here at Evergreen Speedway. This is the battle for sixth, seventh, and eighth. Huddleston's going to hold on to it by inches at the start-finish line. Still side-by-side. Side. It's a great thing about racing here at Evergreen Speedway. That second groove, pretty racy. And look at this. Speaking about racy, here comes Sean Hingarani. He's going to open the door. And look to the inside. Ingarani will take the lead off of turn four to complete lap 56. So first lead change of the night. And he's been putting some pressure on. Very patiently sitting back there in second position. But apparently Sean Ingarani thinking it's time to hit the go button. He... Worked his way around Tyler Reif, and look at him starting to build that advantage out just a little bit. And speaking about making some moves, here comes Eric Nascimento in the four car. He's also moved to the inside of Trevor Huddleston. So Huddleston has gone from sixth to eighth here in about the space of three laps. And if he's not careful, he's going to lose eighth. Jacob Smith still back there in the 41 car. Pole qualifying time earlier this afternoon, 23.06 seconds. Last lap for our leader, Sean Hingarani, as he completed lap 58, 25.18 seconds. So they've already lost more than two seconds of lap time. Some 60 laps into the race. That's how abrasive the surface is here at Evergreen Speedway. These drivers dying to get to lap 75. Just 15 more laps. We can come on down and make those tire changes. But we talked about it at the top of the show. A very abrasive racetrack here at Evergreen Speedway. Tire conservation is going to be key. And I got to wonder if Tyler Reif has learned anything here in the opening half of this race that he can bring to the second half. Sean Hingarani did a nice job, not overextending that car at all in the first run of this race, and still had enough grip left in those tires to work his way past and take the lead. I don't wonder if that's something that Tyler Reif may try to look at replicating there in the second half of this one. Reif still holding on to second as Hingarani now starts to stretch out that advantage. would be a great way for the Venerini Motorsports team to enter tomorrow's action at the Springfield Mile. Coming off a win at Watkins Glen with Jesse Love. They'd love to get another win here tonight to have the opportunity to sweep the weekend. Three races in three different states. Three totally different types of racing. Road course racing, paved short track racing, and a one-mile dirt track all on the same weekend. And the Venerini Motorsports team, the only team to compete in all three of those races. And there's the battle between the top three. We haven't forgotten about Cole Raz back there in third. Cole has done a great job keeping the top three cars in his sights. He has not overextended his equipment at all here in the early going.
There are your top two. Sean Hingarani in the 15. Tyler Reif in the 13. They're about to close in on the former driver of that number 13 car. Todd Souza has transitioned into a second car for that team. There is the number three directly in front of Sean Hingarani. Todd trying to hold on to the tail end of the lead lap. As we close in on the midway point here. Still nine laps to the halfway point. I don't know that Todd's going to be able to keep Sean Hingarani at bay for nine laps. He moves to the outside. He's going to put Todd Souza a lap down. Now he's hoping that Bradley Erickson is able to hold on to that tail end of the lead lap. He needs Erickson to stay on the lead lap here to pick up the free pass once we do go to the break here coming up in just a few moments. But right now, Erickson fighting some handling issues of his own. He's going to go a lap down. Racing through this traffic has allowed Tyler Reif to close in just a little bit. But once they clear that traffic, Hingarani hit, look, almost looked like he hit the afterburner there off of turn two, didn't it? You could visibly see that gap grow down the back stretch. Cole Raz following the leaders through. Cole's had a pretty solid season here out on the West Coast. Picked up some very big wins in his super late model. Picked up a big $10,000 win about a month ago. Getting his feet wet here in the Arkham Art Series West, following in his brother Grayson's footsteps. As they work past Takuma Koga in the number seven. Love that camera shot down in between turns three and four. You can really see the speed of these cars as they come at you down the back stretch. There's Takuma Koga out of Nagoya, Japan. He gets the award for the longest commute between each and every Arkham Menard Series West race. Spends most of his time in Japan, but he does make the trip to come to the States to come and race with the Arkham Menard Series West. And this is where he got his feet wet in stock car racing. And late models here at Evergreen Speedway back in the day. Not the day Takuma was looking for right now. He sits 14th on the leaderboard. One lap off the pace. There's the advantage up at the front of the field as we close in on the halfway point here. Sean Hingarani got a comfortable lead. Just about three quarters of a second over the battle for second. There's Tyler Reif and Cole Raz. And I got to tell you, I think for a lot of these drivers here in the opening half of this race, it was just about logging laps. Let's get to the halfway point. Let's think about what changes we're going to need to make to these race cars. Get some fresh rubber on. And let's go race in the second half. So I think once we get to the halfway point and go back green flag racing to the finish, I think we're going to see the intensity level pick up quite a bit. Grayson Raz starting to put, or excuse me, Cole Raz starting to put a little pressure on Tyler Reif and move Cole Raz into the second position. Cole had an impressive debut last time out at Shasta Speedway. Coming home in the third position in his series debut. Trying to do even better here tonight. As we have now completed 75 laps here at Evergreen Speedway. Halfway point has been reached. Cross flags in the air. We should see the caution flag. There's Joe Contreras with the cross flags. Once all the lead lap cars have come across the start finish line right there. We'll put the caution flag out. And that is the first caution flag of the night. 
lot of good green flag racing there to get things started here at Evergreen Speedway. Our and Art Series West Racing from Evergreen Speedway will be right back. Our Series West Racing on NBC Sports is brought to you by Bounty, the quicker picker-upper, and by Richmond Water Heaters, the water heater experts. Just a few races left here out on the West Coast for the Arkham and Art Series West All-American Speedway coming up on September 30th. The Bull Ring at Las Vegas Motor Speedway coming up on October 13th. The much anticipated return trip to the Madera Speedway coming up on October 21st. And of course the finale coming up at Phoenix Raceway on November 3rd. All of those races can be seen live right here on Flow Racing as we take a look at our remaining schedule for the Arkham and Art Series West here in 2023. Charlie here at the halfway point. Things have been clean and green so far this evening. Tyler Reif showing speed out the gate. He controlled the first portion of this race, but a persistent Sean Hingarani took over the lead on lap 56. Now with the whole field having a chance to come down pit road, no major adjustments for any of our leaders, just some air pressure here and there, but four tires and fuel for everybody. That's going to reset things here as we approach a restart, a 75 lap race to the finish. All right, coming back to green. Sean Hingarani gets the jump on Cole Raz. And here comes Tyler Reif. Reif to the inside of Cole Raz down into turns one and two. And Reif will take over that second spot. And again, we talked about it at the top of the show. Tire conservation is going to be key. We've got some fresh general tires on all of these race cars. And look at Landon Lewis shoving his way underneath Tanner Reif. How early do you want to get what you can get out of these? Oh, we've got some problems down into turn one, and Tanner Reif is into the outside wall. Last year's winner has made contact with the turn one wall, and that puts us under the caution flag for the second time tonight. We saw him knocking fenders with Landon Lewis down on the other end of the racetrack, and you have to wonder... If there might have been a little more contact and the window net is down, steering wheel coming off, Tanner Reif going to call it a night here at Evergreen. Let's take a look at the flow racing replay and see what happened down into turn one to put us under caution for the second time here tonight. Wow, a lot of sparks from the right front corner of that car. Not going to turn and... Ow! Hard contact for Tanner Reif down into turn one. Tough, tough break. Had spent most of, if not all, of the opening half of this race in the top five. And it all goes away here just after the halfway break. And you can kind of see, just based on the body language, not too happy. Let's take another look at that replay. There you see, right about the time they get to the start-finish line, those sparks come out from underneath the right front. So that, whether it was a tire or a suspension failure, in any case, problems with the right front corner, and nothing he could do at that point. Tyler, excuse me, Tanner, uh, just absolutely a passenger. Why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and step away for a quick break? We'll let the track safety crew get to work. Bring Tanner back into the infield, get the car cleaned. We'll be right back with more Arkham and Art Series West Racing on NBC Sports. All right, we're going to bunch them up one more time. Sean Hingarani and now Tyler Reif back up on the front row. Cole Raz and Landon Lewis back in row two. Eric Nascimento, he's had some good runs here in 2023, and he is sneaky. He has worked his way up into the fifth position. Trevor Huddleston outside the third row as we get ready to go back to green flag racing. No restart zone in the Arkham and Art Series West. We've got a restart line. Sean Hingarani has to be the first one to the restart line. And that line is 
off of turn four. Actually, a little bit of a ways down off of turn four. And indeed, Hingarani gets to that restart line first. Joe Contreras with the green flag back in the air, and we'll see what happens down into one on this restart. Hingarani going to get the jump on Tyler Reif. Reif going to try to settle into that second position. And here comes Landon Lewis. Lewis has been aggressive once we have gone back racing here in the second half. And he's going to take the third spot from Cole Raz, the 17 car. Coming to life here early on in the second half. Here at Evergreen. Saw some sparks. Off the exhaust pipes of that 17 car as he hit a bump there down the back stretch. Uh, the best part of racing under the lights, seeing the sparks off of those race cars. Cole Raz going to give up a couple of spots on these two restarts. And here comes a battle brewing for second. Landon Lewis trying to take second away from Tyler Reif in the 13 car. These two finished 1-2 at Phoenix Raceway to start the season. The first time ever a combination race with the Arkham and Art Series has been won by a full-time West Series driver. Tyler Reif making some history to get the season started. Hasn't quite gone the way he anticipated it would. He's now made a change in teams. He's gone from the Loudon Jackson Racing Team to the Central Coast Racing Team. And here comes a challenge for that second spot. Landon Lewis to the inside. He's going to grab that spot off a of turn four. Move Landon Lewis to the 17 car up to second. So Landon Lewis going to have to close in. It looks like it's about a 7 to 10 car length advantage for Sean Hingarani. Still a long ways to go. Still 50 laps plus remaining here at Evergreen Speedway. Actually, 56 laps at this point. And this battle just outside. Actually, just inside the top five. There's fourth place Cole Raz, fifth place Eric Nascimento. Trevor Huddleston trying to work his way back into the top five. We've seen Huddleston jump out front a couple of times this year and just run like Jack the Bear in the early stages of a race and then have the handling kind of go away on his car late in the race. And we've also seen that 50 car kind of get stronger later in the run. So I wonder what we're going to see out of Huddleston here today. Right now, that 50 car looking like it's starting to come to life here as the laps tick off. We approach the two-thirds mark coming up on lap 100 here. Again, working to the inside of David Smith in the 0-5. David giving everybody a lot of room to the bottom side of the racetrack. He does not want to impact this battle for position in any way. So Tyler Reif holding on to third. Cole Raz holding on to fourth. Eric Nascimento holding on to fifth. Arkham and Art Series West Racing from Evergreen Speedway will be right back. Arkham and Art Series West Racing on NBC Sports is brought to you by Sioux Chief, America's manufacturer of plumbing products, by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Reese's, not sorry, and by Sprecher Fire Brewed Craft Soda, the official craft soda of Arca. Welcome back to the Napa Auto Parts Arca West 150 at Evergreen Speedway. Eric Nascimento trying to close in, steal that fourth position away inside of 10 to go. Here at Evergreen, Lewis, all kinds of sideways through turn four. I 
And again, looking at lap times, two seconds off the pace we set in qualifying earlier this afternoon on this notoriously abrasive racing surface. Definitely puts it back in the driver's hands, though. You want that driver to have to use all of the tools available to him in the cockpit, and tire conservation is one of those tools. And right now, Landon Lewis may be wishing he didn't work so hard in that opening few couple lap, couple few laps, as we say here in the Midwest, of the second half of the race here tonight. Charlie, an update from the 17 team. We were speculating maybe an issue with tire wear. The crew says that is not the case. They think they may have just loosened up that race car a bit too much during that last stop. Tires are fine. Landon is just doing what he can to hold on to a race car that's entirely too loose for this track. Closing in on the finish here at Evergreen Speedway. This is the battle for fourth and fifth. Landon Lewis in the 17. Ran as high as second just about 25 laps ago. And that handling really started to go away for Landon Lewis in the 17 car. He is facing all kinds of heat from Ethan Nascimento in the number four. Landon trying to hold on to that fourth position. One of our contenders for the Arkham and Art Series West Championship. Every point matters. Every position matters. And right now, he needs four more good laps to keep Ethan Nascimento behind him. To try to keep Sean Hingarani in his sights. As Hingarani is poised to take over the championship points lead with four races left to go. Sean Hingarani in the 15 car working his way past Eric Johnson Jr. Going to put him another lap down in his oval track debut. Three to go for Sean Hingarani this time around. And we talked about it earlier in the show. Could be a magical weekend for the Veneridi Motorsports team. They picked up the win with Jesse Love at Watkins Glen International on Friday afternoon. They're looking to go back to victory lane with Sean Hingarani for the fourth time here in 2023. And if Hingarani is able to close the deal, they'll look to sweep the weekend at the Illinois State Fairgrounds with the Arkham Menard Series on the mild dirt tomorrow afternoon. Hingarani down the back stretch. He will be looking at the white flag this time around. Final circuit here at Evergreen Speedway. Sean Hingarani off a of turn four. Looking at the white flag from Joe Contreras. No pressure from behind. He's going to let those lap cars in front of him have all the room they need. Sean Hingarani cleanly down the back stretch and into turns three and four for the final time. And for the fourth time this season, Sean Hingarani will pick up the win. Hingarani goes to victory lane here at Evergreen. Tyler Reif across the stripe to come home in second. Cole Raz with another third place finish in the number five. Landon Lewis coming home in fourth. Arkham and Art Series West Racing from Evergreen Speedway will be right back. Back to Evergreen Speedway. Let's take a look at tonight's Reese's Sweet Move of the Race, voted by you, the fans, on X, formerly Twitter, at Arca underscore racing. The results are in, and you, the fans, have voted Eric Nascimento's three-wide pass as tonight's Reese's Sweet Move of the Race. Down, and ooh, both of them go way up the racetrack. Now let's set it on down to Victory Lane, where Jesse Punch is standing by with tonight's winner, Sean Hingarani. Sean Hingarani. He's in the battle for the championship and now picks up win number four of the year here at Evergreen. Sean, you dominated those final few laps, cruising to the green-white checkered here. 
At what point during this race were you confident that you had this one won? Uh, you know, from lap one, I was confident that we had this thing. One, uh, had a really good race car. I wish I could go celebrate with the fans, but there were some uh, problems there. But, uh, you know, it just brought me a great race car. So uh, just an old-fashioned <laughs> flip in there at the end. Sean, when we spoke last uh, in the grandstands at Shasta Speedway after your win, you said, I think we can get this in regards to the championship. Where's that confidence level now? Uh, you know, uh, it's growing higher every race. So just got to keep uh, getting these wins and uh, doing what we do. Congratulations on the win, Sean. Thank you. We're going Craftsman Truck Racing next week, so make sure you guys tune in. That's Sean Hingarani. Four wins now on the season. He's a championship contender fighting for every point, getting closer and closer after this win here at Evergreen Speedway. Let's take a look at the unofficial results of tonight's Napa Auto Parts ARCA 150 here at Evergreen Speedway. Sean Hingarani picking up win number four here in 2023. Tyler Reif with his best run since winning the season opener at Phoenix Raceway. He comes home in second. Cole Raz, his second consecutive third place finish. Landon Lewis coming home with his second consecutive fourth place finish. And how about this? Eric Nascimento, surprise, surprise, his second consecutive fifth place finish. Good run for Nascimento in the number four car. Trevor Huddleston coming home sixth. How about that run for Jacob Smith tonight coming home in eighth and Todd Souza giving Central Coast Racing two cars in the top 10 and a tough, tough night for Tanner Reif. We saw him get into the outside wall all the way back on lap 81. He is gonna round out our 15 car starting lineup tonight. Tough night for Tanner Reif in the number 16. Standing by here with second place finisher, Tyler Reif. Tyler, you look disappointed. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, I mean, little miscalculation on my team and I, and um, we just waited probably 20, 30 laps to get going. And uh, we should have picked it up 20 laps earlier. And I think we could have come home with the win. I mean, the last 20 laps, we were 10th faster each lap, each lap, and just wasn't enough. So, I mean, it's a bummer. Had a lot of confidence, had a lot of speed, had the speed to win, just 10 laps too short. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you. That's Tyler Reif bringing it home second here tonight, just his second race with this team. The unofficial Arca Menard Series West Championship standings look like this after eight races. Sean Hingarani leaping to the top of the leaderboard. He has a one point advantage over Landon Lewis, who slips back to second. Trevor Huddleston, 23 points out of the lead in third. Tyler Reif making a bit of a resurgence here late in the season. He is four points out of that third position. And Bradley Erickson continues to round out the top five. Coming home third place tonight, Cole Raz. Cole, just your second Arkham Menard Series West start. And you were confident going into this one, knowing how good you are at this place. How did this finish sack up to the potential that you know you brought here tonight? I was definitely hoping for better. I felt like after a strong run at Shasta, it could have propelled us to a better finish tonight. But we just struggled. We were so free getting in and just center up off the corner. We struggled all the way around, honestly. So made good adjustments at the break. Tried moving around. Was running the top side down three and four. And just tried to find something to give myself a chance. But... Uh, you know, them top two drove away from us. We came home with another third, but just uh, thankful for the opportunity for sure. Well, two ARCA at West starts, two podium finishes. What does this mean for your future in this series? You know, we'll see. I mean, the biggest thing is funding in the sport, and I'm working pretty hard on trying to secure all that. But without our sponsors like Apache Rail Groups, Odd Town, BOG, GMC, Master Ranch, Wells Johnson, Northwest Road and Drive, they've supported me a lot to give me this opportunity for these two races. And uh, we'll see what we can do for the future and just got to keep working at it. Thanks, Cole. Thank you, guys. That's Cole Raz, another third place finisher for the young driver in just his second Arco West start. The next race for the NASCAR Touring Series schedule here on NBC Sports is the Napa Auto Care 150 from All American Speedway in Roseville, California. Catch it right here on CNBC coming up Sunday, October 8th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It was a great night for racing here in the Pacific Northwest. The Arca Menard Series West taking on Evergreen Speedway. Sean Hingarani picks up his fourth victory of the season. Congratulations go out to Sean and all of that Venerini Motorsports team. They've been pretty tough to beat here in 2023. Don't forget, folks, NBC Sports is your home for Arca Menard Series East and West Racing as well as the NASCAR Modified Tour. Thanks so much for watching, folks. We hope you enjoyed the show. We look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, so long, everybody. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our fans for your support, and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast.